What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna add likes to our meeps for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add likes to our meeps. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add the ability to like or unlike a meep. So you'll click a little button to like it, the counter will increment, or you'll unlike it and the counter will take one off. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our models.py file. So we're in our Musker directory, click on models.py, and this is our meep model. So this keeps track of our meeps, right? And we've got this foreign key so we can associate users with meeps. And then we've got the body of the meep, you know, just the text. And then we've got this timestamp that says when it was created. So what we really wanna do is add another field here to keep track of likes. So let's just call this likes. And this is gonna be a models dot many to many field. So a many to many field means many users can like many tweets, right? As a user, you don't just like one tweet, right? You like many tweets. And there can be many users liking many tweets, many to many fields. So we wanna associate this with a user because we wanna keep track of, did you like a specific tweet? You, the user, which tweets have you liked and not liked? So there we go. And now let's just create a related name in case we wanna play with this later. Uh, this, let's just call this meep underscore like. And let's set this blank to true. So you don't have to have a like in order to have a meep, right? So, okay, that looks good. So that's pretty much all we need, but we'd also like to keep track of how many likes a specific meep has. So we could do that right here very easily. So let's come down here and let's uh, keep track or count of likes. So let's define number of likes and call this anything you want. We wanna pass in self here. And we're just gonna create this little function that will return self.likes.count. And this count function, We'll take our likes, which is what we just created right here, and it'll just count them, right? And it will return that anytime we call this function. So we'll be able to call this function on each meep, and it will return how many people liked that meep. So pretty simple and pretty cool. So this is a major change to the model. Anytime we make a major change to a model in Django, we need to create a new migration and push that migration into the database. So let's head over to our terminal and control C to break out of here. I'm in my C slash musker slash social directory, got my virtual environment turned on. And you'll notice this is the directory with your manage.py file in it. So just make sure that's the case. So let's create a migration. So let's go Python, manage.py, make migrations. And I know this is plural, but it's always plural, even though we're just doing one migration. There we go. Now we've got the migration. Now we need to push it into the database. So let's go Python, manage.py, migrate. All right, that looks good. And now let's run our server again. And let's head back over to our code really quickly. If we click the migrations, we should see, if we come up here to project and refresh, boom, there we go. There's a new migration. And you can see it's added this likes field. So, okay, that looks good. So we've got our model, we've got everything sorted out. Now we need to create a view to deal with this. So what we wanna do is be able to click a link next to a meep or a tweet and have it do something. So we need a view for that. So let's come down here and let's define, and I'm gonna call this meep underscore like, and we wanna pass in the request as always, but we also wanna pass in a primary key. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because we need to know which meep, which tweet we're dealing with. And the primary key that we pass in will tell us that. So, okay, let's grab the meeps. So let's go meep equals, and now I'm gonna use something we haven't used before. I'm gonna use get object or 404. And this is just a little helper object that we can copy this, come up to the top here, and in our shortcuts from Django.shortcuts, we wanna just import that. And that just basically allows us to look up something from the database, to query something from the database very quickly, very easily, and to return an error message, a 404 message, if we don't, if there's a problem. So, well, what do we wanna look up? Well, we wanna look up something from the MEEP model. And let's come to the top of the screen here and make sure you have imported your meep model. 
from dot models import meep we've done that earlier so it's already there but what exact meep do we want to look up well we want to look up a meep with an id of that primary key that we're going to be passing in when we click the link so okay that looks good so now let's do some logic let's go hey if meep dot likes dot filter and then let's say hey if the person that clicks it is already associated with liking this meep that means they've already liked it if they're clicking the button and they've already liked it it probably means they're unliking it right you want to click it to like it or click it to unlike it so if they're already in there they've already liked it and if they clicked it after that that means they're trying to unlike it so let's look them up so let's go id equals and this is going to be a request dot user dot id and that request is coming in from right there so the user has to be logged in in order to use this page so you might want to do some logic here so let's do this there we go else let's just return this guy here so we're saying hey if they're logged in do some stuff if not return them to the home page and say hey you must be logged in to view that page okay we'll just put that down there so okay up here we need a colon so we looked up the meep here and now we're saying hey if that meep has a like with the requesting user's ID in it, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to meep.likes.remove and then request.user. So we want to remove that user if they're already associated with them. Else, if they're not already associated with that meep, that means they haven't liked it before, which means they're probably trying to like it, right? So if they're not associated with it and they click the like button, that means they're trying to like it. So what do we want to do? We want to meep.likes.add the request.user. Okay. So after all that has happened, we want to return, redirect, and let's just send the person home. That looks good. Let's go ahead and save that. Now we need one more thing. We need a URL in our URLs.py file. So let's go path. And we want to create a link to meep underscore like slash int colon pk. And we've done this before when we're passing something into a URL. We want to pass in the number of the ID of the meep. And this meep like is just, you know, calling this meep like function we just created, right? So where do we want to point this? Well, like I said, we want to point it to that views.meep underscore like. And let's give this a name of meep underscore like. Okay, we've got pretty much all the mechanics that we need. Now we just need to go to our home page and fill around with the actual page itself. So go to templates and home. And for now, we're just gonna do this on the home page. I realize that, you know, if you go to my profile, there's also meeps here. We'll need to do this here as well. Uh, if you go to other people's profile pages that have meeps, we'll have to do it there as well. But for now, let's just do it on the home page, right? And you'll notice right away when I reload this page, there's this thing for likes that pops up whenever you create a meep. Well, we don't want that, right? Because if you're creating a meep, you can't have other people like it already. Like I can't, you know, this is a meep and then automatically say Bob and Wes like it. That wouldn't, you know, we can't have that. So we need to get rid of this thing. So how do we do that? Well, we do that super easy, very quickly. Just head over to our forms file there we go and then in our meep form this is where this is the form where we create a meep here we are excluding user we also want to exclude likes slap a comma on the end of that save this guy come back over here hit reload that should take care of that now that's gone so okay that works good so now we need to add the number of me the number of likes to each tweet so we want a little counter on this screen next to each thing here that shows how many people have already liked it. Now this is going to be super easy because in our models.py file, we created this little function that will return that whenever we call number of likes, right? So I'll copy this, head over to our home page. Where is that? Where did that go? There it is. Come down here to our meeps and here we have this small class. I'm just going to type in test here. Save this, head back over here hit reload. Okay, there it says test right there. That's where we want to be. So instead of test, let's say likes. And inside of here, we could just call meep 
dot number of likes. So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload, we see a whole bunch of zeros because none of these have been liked yet. But hey, that's cool. At least that seems to work. And we'll make sure in just a second. So now we need a, a link next to this that we can click in order to like or unlike. So pretty simple right next to this. And we'll make this look nicer later. Maybe we'll put a little heart or something instead of just a link. But we can say a her f equals. And for now, I'm just going to say like, and let me put this on another line so we can see this better. So here, we need a Django URL tag. So URL, we want to point them to meep underscore like. And we want to pass in the meep dot ID. Right, so this is meep underscore like because our URLs dot pi file, we called this meep underscore like, and this int pk is going to be what this thing is right there. So if we go ahead and save this head back over here, and hit reload. Now we see this little like when I hover over this, you see down in the bottom left hand corner, it says meep underscore like slash seven. For this one, it says slash six. For this one down here, it says slash two. That's the ID of this meep. So this is the seventh meep, right? So when we click this, we're going to go to that page, which will then call our views.py meep underscore like function here, that seven or whatever will get passed as PK. We'll look it up. We'll say, hey, look up the meep with seven. If the person clicking on this, which is request.userid, if they've previously liked it and they've clicked on it, it means they're trying to unlike it. So remove them. Otherwise, they haven't liked it before and they're trying to. So add them to the like, right? So that's really all we need. Now we'll get a little bit more fancy with this in a minute. We'll do some logic to have it say either like or unlike. But for now, let's just see if this works. So I'm going to click this. Boom, one like. I click it again, boom, zero likes. Why? Because I had already liked it. And that means if I clicked it again, I'm trying to unlike it, right? And like I said, we'll do some logic to show that in a second. So, okay, that looks like it works. Uh, let's try somebody else's. There we go. All right. So now we want to change this like after we've already clicked it, we want it to say unlike. So how do we do that? Pretty easy. Let's do some logic here. Head back to the home page. And right here, let's do some logic. So we want to say if the user is in meep dot likes dot all. So we can get all of the people that like a specific meep by calling likes dot all, right? It's sort of like querying the database and calling all the things, right? And we can say, hey, get everybody that liked that tweet. And if the user is in that list, well, that means they've already liked it, right? Well, if that's the case, then they probably now want to unlike it, right? Else, let's copy this thing here. Well, if they're not in the list already, that means they're trying to like it, right? So that We'll change that to like. And then finally, we can end our if. So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload. Now this one says unlike, and this one says unlike because we've already liked it. So if we click this again to unlike it, boom, it goes to zero. This changes back to like because we haven't liked it, we've unliked it. This is back to zero likes, and we can boom, like it again. So, all right, that seems to work. If you're curious who the user is, I mean, we are the user, obviously, but let's see, we can come up here and then just very quickly type in user to see this. I want to come back over here and hit reload. User is admin because, you know, I'm logged in as admin. So it's saying, hey, if admin is already liking something, then unlike, right? If admin hasn't liked it, then like. So, okay, pretty cool. Now let's get rid of that user thing real quick. Now I do want to test out one more thing just to make sure let's log out. This is Kodami's tweet. Let's log out and log back in as Kodami. And Kodami's meep already has one like from admin. Now if we do it again, there's two likes, admin and Kodami. So that looks like that works. Same thing down here. We can pop this on and see if that works. Okay, so if we log out here, log back in as admin, just to make sure now there are two likes, we can unlike goes to one and like again goes to two. All right, that seems to work. And we can check this if we want, we can go to the admin section and click on meeps. And so if we click on this one, we see 
it has a like of admin and codemy. And there are, in fact, yes, two likes there. So yeah, that looks like it works. So pretty simple way to like or unlike meeps, tweets, whatever you want to call them. And uh, that's kind of all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 160,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.